Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wait a second. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I'm the one. I'm the only. I am Hobo Tom. For a rare change. I'm going to bring you some wrestling content. This is my predictions video. So you know what, folks? Hit my music. And this is going to be a double show, that's right, you get two times, two times, two times the wrestling action. I should have said, the rapidly aging Hobo Tom, because, yes, I have to go to the reading glasses once again, as we have to talk about the WWE going to Saudi Arabia, which I'm not a big fan of, mainly because this show starts at 1 p.m., Looking at my schedule over there, which you guys can't see, I have to work from 12 to 6. Well, actually, I have to work from 9, or is it 10? I have to double check that now, now that I think about it. Yeah, but it's probably, I have to work from 10 to 11.30, and then 12 to 6. So I will not be seeing the king and queen of the ring. But it does not mean I cannot give some wrestling guesses anyway. So let's start the show off with some guesses here. I'm in no particular order. Let's say we have the Intercontinental Championship going first. Actually, do I even need those? No, not for this one. Maybe when I do the next one. We have Sami Zayn in a triple threat match. That's right. Three times, three times, three times the wrestlers. You have Sami Zayn versus Chad Gable versus Bronson Reed. Because he's from Australia. And I must do my Australian accent. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. So, yep. Um, the winner in this match. Yeah, somehow Otis is going to get involved. We're going to see Otis develop that conflict of interest between being Face Otis, because Face Otis is best Otis. I did get a tan. Um, so somehow he's going to cause someone the match. Sami Zayn's going to retain his Intercontinental title. And then for the King of the Ring. Even though it's not SmackDown yet. Because I don't have time for that. Yeah, because I have to close tomorrow, too. So I won't be able to see that anyway. I have so much to do tomorrow, too. Wow. Um, we have the ring general Gunter versus... The man who hears voices in his head, Randall Keith Orton. Yep, I'm making that prediction right now. That's the one that makes sense. Gunther, ein Ring General, is going to be King or Kaiser Gunther. Yep. If you speak the German language, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and then in the woman's queen of the ring, I don't think they're going to tease any... Because queen of the ring doesn't necessarily do anything. There's Lyra Valkyria... Versus either, I think, Nia Jax or, Bian or Bianca Belair. Again, that's to be, de 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 be determined. <laughs> On Friday. So I have no clue what's going to happen. Um, I think it's going to be Lyra Val Valkyria versus Bianca Belair. Lyra Valkyria is going to win, I think. 
Then we have the women's championship match. Oh, I do miss steampunk Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. They're going to put the belt back on Liv Morgan. I know, in theory, Becky's contract's coming up. She has a kid. Seth is taking time off. She might want to take some time off. I'm cool with that. Liv Morgan wins. Oh, let's see here. Oh, I forgot to mention that. That's okay. I'll fix that in there. Because my match of the night is going to be Gunter versus Randy Orton. That's going to be great. The Snooze, Lear Vicario versus whoever. And then in my stone cold lock of the night. We have the American Nightmare. There's adrenaline in his veins. The grandson of a plumber, baby. Cody Rhodes. Versus some internet YouTuber guy, Logan Paul. Whatever. Um, you know what? Cody Rhodes is going to win. So, yep. That's going to be it. I have some production to do. Yep. To switch things up a little bit. The Bucks of Youth. Baby. Because they're Bullet Club. Once you're a Bullet Club, you're, bullet, you're not only too sweet... But your Bullet Club for life. Bang, bang. This I won't need my glasses for it because there's a whole bunch of matches. For some reason, AEW likes to make long pay-per-views. And this one, I'll probably watch the majority of only because I have to wake up and be at work at 7 the next day. So, it's not something I can just purely stay up for. So, let's take a look at this freaking grocery list of matches. Yep. Right here, folks. Uh, let's see here. Let's start off, say, with a bang, bang. Bang, bang. Gang. Versus triangle, triangular de muerta. The death, death triangle is back. Because the bastard Pac is back. Um, who's gonna win that match? I didn't even underline anyone. It's so bad. Um, you know what? I don't really care about either one of these. The bang, bang, bang. Bullet Club never wins, though. The Death Triangle's gonna win that match. Again, in a triple threat match. You have Chris Jericho versus Hook versus Shibata for the FTW Championship. This could be good. I'm going to go with my heart a little bit, which is always crazy, mainly because he's there. Shibata. Mainly because I remember Prime Shibata from New Japan. Just wearing the black trunks, kicking people, shoot headbutts. Shibata's going to win. We have Orange Cassidy versus Trent Beretta. Heel Orange Cassidy. I, I forget if it's Trent. I forget who's heel or who's face. You know what? He is my dog pockets, according to Jim Cornette. I'll say Orange Cassidy wins. Then for the IWGP Championship, we have the Wild Thing. You make my heart sing. You make everything groove, eh? John Moxley. Versus Kanoshka Takeshka. Takeshka's coming along. But you know what? New Japan still values name recognition, I believe, for those belts. John Moxley wins. He retains his championship. Then in a match you could probably take a nap through because Adam Copeland is not the edge of old. 
It's going to be Adam Copeland versus Malachi Black. I think they're going to pull the trigger. Mainly because I saw all the red stuff fall on Malachi Black. We're going to see I have a bloodbath. Unless Gangrel shows up. I saw him wrestle. Yeah. Not necessarily something I should be bragging about. A nap. A whole match you could take a nap through. Malachi Black's going to win and bring some gold to the House of Black. Um, and then my match of the night. We have Roderick Strong versus Will Ospreay. They're not going to have Will Ospreay lose, but this is going to be an amazing match. Roderick Strong is incapable, I think, of having a bad match. Bad promo, yes. Bad match, eh eh. But Will Ospreay is still going to win. We have then the women's, well, one of the women's championship, Timeless Tony Storm versus Serena Deeb. Yeah, they're not taking the belt off. Like, who, who, who are we joking? They're not going to take the belt off Tony Storm yet. I think she did, like, a risque, like, behind the towel stripped down. I wanted to see the backstage view of that. But, yeah, Tony Storm's going to win. Um, and then, in my stone cold lock of the night, We have B Elite, B, B, Elite, Elite. We have the Elite, whoever they are now, versus FTR, Darby Allen, and Brian, and the American Dragon himself, Brian Danielson. Darby Allen does not lose pay per views. I bet, I know he lost a few early, but they were. Big title shots, and he got such a rub. In tag team and multi-man matches, Darby Allen does not lose. Put him through a pane of glass, and he still walks away. This is a stadium stampede match built for Darby Allen to take some ridiculous bump. Please don't die. Please don't die. Um, I'll just say FTR, Darby Allen, and Brian Danielson win. Again, because the Elite are part of Bullet Club, and the Bullet Club never seem to win multi-man matches. Then we have Willow Nightingale versus Mercedes Monet. I'm not sold on Mercedes Monet. I think Tony Khan sees previous value from Mercedes Monet. That means absolutely Jack Squat. Now, but I think he's going to do, because Will Nightingale, again, I've heard other talking heads say, yeah, we're just waiting for her to go to WWE. She is that good. Probably better than Mercedes Monet. Again, Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet, whatever else her, her indie name was. Mercedes VK or VK Mercedes, something like that. She is not necessarily a good promo. She can't do things off the cuff. She is best when you can have take, take 55. And again, when I saw her at... The speedway when she w what waved the green flag for the races start years ago for the Daytona 500. She has seemed like an arrogant bitch. No other way to say it. But I think Tony Khan's going to do something absolutely stupid and put the belt on Mercedes Monet. Uh, let's see here. Then, probably kind of an upset, we have Swerve Strickland versus Christian Cage. 
Christian Cage has too many goofballs by his side. He has that, that Nick kid. Nick's hot mom. Nick Nick's hot milf. And Luchasaurus. Who's not kill shot, by the way. So yeah. Somehow Christian Cage gets that belt off. He's gonna start a feud with Swerve Strickland. Who knows what happened to Samoa Joe. So Yep, those are my predictions. If, if you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Don't forget, Memorial Day is coming up. Yes, I have to cook some hot dogs, drink some booze, and watch the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League here on YouTube. So I'll see everyone a little bit later. This video will go up eventually. And then again, Memorial Day. Check out the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Again, if you want to be a part of the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League, find me somewhere. Contact me, email, comment, like, share, comment, subscribe. Or find me at HoboTom1 at the Discord group where you can watch Illegal Pro Wrestling. Yep. Not Outlaw Pro Wrestling, but watching Pro Wrestling illegally.